And breaking news coming in at this point where well, ED is likely to file a charge sheet against Nehu Choksi in a Mumbai court. The charge sheet focuses on money laundering and the role of Nehu Choksi in perpetrating the alleged fraud. Shavan, my colleague, joining us live on this broadcast to give us more details on this. Over to you, Shavan. Well, Suresh, so Enforcement Directorate is all set to file a charge sheet against Mehul Choksi. Remember, the first charge sheet that was filed in the PNB scam case was against Nirav Modi and his associates. Now we are given to understand that the second charge sheet is ready and they are expected to file it in a Mumbai court uh, later in the day. This particular charge sheet would name Mehul Choksi and essentially his role in perpetuating this alleged fraud. Now remember, what they are looking at is a money laundering angle as to how the loan that was basically secured from uh, the banks that was basically diverted through various means and how Mehul Choksi was essentially behind this alleged fraud. Now that's uh, the charge sheet is going to detail all the activities of Mehul Choksi's group, Gitanjali group, as well as other dummy companies that were basically floated by Mehul Choksi. So uh, uh, yet another uh, damning report right. that is expected in the court. Remember this is certainly going to help the Indian investigating agency to take this forward because the extradition uh, a request also that is that has come in and the red corner right. would certainly require a charge sheet against Mehul Choksi because the first we have right. seen that happening in the case of Nirav Modi. Now it would happen in the case of Mehul Choksi. Absolutely. Shavan, thank you for joining us with those details. and shift. Women Congress of Delhi launched a Save Tree campaign. The Congress body said that more than 16,500 trees are in danger and thousands of trees have already been cut. Neither the central nor Delhi government remained seemed to take responsibility of the situation. Students in Gujarat attacked a professor and blackened his face for alleged fraud in Senate polls. The student also took out a rally to protest against the fraud. An FIR has been registered against the students by the police. A green corridor was created by Delhi police from Indira Gandhi International Airport Terminal 3 to Fortress Escort Sukhdev Vihar in order to transport a live heart. The convoy consisting of two ambulances and a private vehicle covered the 23 kilometers route in 23 minutes. A huge stack of ammunition explosive was recovered by Ramanathapuram District Police on the shore of Rameshwaram Island. Police suspect that the explosives date to 1980s and belong to Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, also known as LTT. BJP worker Balaji Kamle was reportedly hacked to death by a group of unidentified assailants in Pune's Wadmukwadi. Police investigations are underway to identify the miscreants.